Yesterday there was about um, 20 centimeters of snow falling. I was in the valley, and even there was snowing quite a lot. So uh, I almost didn't get through with the car. Some some parts were just too steep and just too much snow, but um, yeah, I got through. So that's good. But it's a different life, you know. In the snow, you have to. Everything takes longer. You have to remove it where you're working and. Uh, but it's really beautiful. All my water is frozen and the pipe is frozen too so I can't get water uh, but I have still quite a bit and otherwise I'll walk to the neighbor to get some water. All good. I've digged out as much as I could. Um, as a stone floor here, that's clear now. I can see all the contours of the stones. So I'm gonna take all of them out. And then, uh, yeah, there's a gutter here, which is, uh, I think, for the animal waste. So take all the stones out, and then I can see how far more I can dig out. Um, and then be careful to not dig underneath the walls. But this looks good quite a lot that came out.
Batteries are always in trouble in this cold weather. I hope this one's okay. Yeah. Also the camera batteries, I'm just carrying them here. So this is the Sony a7 II and those batteries are very bad. Even in normal circumstances they, uh, they go very fast and in this freezing weather. I mean this one is going to stop in a second. Yeah, it's okay. As long as they work. Proven. And one doesn't need snowshoes, all you need is a Suzuki chimney. Exactly, yes. <laughs> I'm not gonna keep you. And the wheel, well, I mean it was on the it was on the edge. There was just a few steep ones. Yeah. With it just uh, just too much snow. I think a bump. Yeah yeah yeah. But I got there. Good. So um, just a question. Are you heading home for, for Christmas? Yeah I will. Yeah. On the like uh I'm yeah, just, just, be just before Christmas I go back yeah uh, there there's a, a, a Turco Canadian who works in Germany but doesn't speak German but he is from Canada I think Turk cook Tur Turkish Canadian so he, he must ah. have Turkish roots but from Canada yeah living in Germany and he bought a a hut close to Pinarolo. Oh, uh, it's actually ten kilometers from here, but long drive. I think he sent me a message. Oh, he did. Yeah. Oh, good, good. He uh, he sent you a message too. G. G. Yeah, I oh, believe okay. that's the guy. I'm sorry. Oh no 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 no! Don't worry. This is all. No no no! You can come come in the shop. It's uh, <laughs> oh, no. it's 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 real life. You know, my neighbor yeah, is coming by. The neighbor is disturbing again. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna, this is I'm all going to be on YouTube. <laughs> I'm surprised that it's still running because I'm. Well, never believe anything battery. you see on YouTube. I, I can just. I think it has another minute and then it's dead. Oh, so, so, okay, so I'm not going to keep you. I just thought I'd ask you when you're leaving. right now it must be like 15 degrees or something so it's good it makes the snow melt and I can bring the wood up here tomorrow or the day after it's amazing really I mean you can see the the moisture in the valley and in the valley it's it's actually much colder than up here
I need I need another kind of saw for this. One which is like small for this kind of precise work. I mean here. Yeah. It's fine, but it's not nice. I mean this won't be visible. This will be. Yeah, that's not so nice. Let's see. Maybe I'll uh, redo this one.
okay it's not straight but I can shave it off it's a little bit thicker here than there so it's two centimeters across but then I don't know it's difficult when it's under an angle and it's such a small piece it's just difficult to get it straight um, but I can uh, shave that off so it's actually good to make it a little bit bigger yeah, I need a saw bench for these kind of things because it's impossible. <laughs> I mean, I need to land the blade somewhere. It's difficult to get it right. Put a mark. So I'm going to go for two. All of them fit well except this one which is on the right side and it needs to fit up with this this is the underside that's top that's the difference which is not nice so or I shave off a bit of the top here but then it's gonna be like uneven it needs to be even on the glass that's the most important part and then you want it to be in visibly even on this side as well of course so I'd probably just redo this one because the rest is lining up really nicely that's nice plum and square <sighs> what about this one Perfect. Yeah, that's good. I'll do this one. Can I use that? No. I'm drawing up the roof in um, in SketchUp to kind of see what all the layers are and um, how the stones are going to have to be laid. Um, like looking at the shapes of the of the stones and the different sizes, how they're gonna be stacked on top of each other. Um, 
I've been looking a lot at houses in the region and you can see how the stones are built up like even bus stops are made with these kind of stone roofs um, you can see how the stones are laid and how the battens are, the space in between um, how they're balanced out because they're quite big stones um, but new roofs they have stones which are perfectly cut into square flag stones from 80 by 80 something like that centimeters um, so it's easier obviously to build because they're all all of them are exactly like four centimeters thick so everything what you see here is going to be what I'm adding to the building now take these away we've got the the roof boards those uh, are tongue and groove then the insulation will be in between here and then I'm actually missing a layer here it's like spacers in between the battens and the insulation so water can drip off I have to add that one and then you can see the battens where the stones are be placed on so there will be an extra layer here so you've got this one and the rest which is lean the other stone that are placed on top of that will follow in the same angle right if this one would be flat um, it would be difficult to balance the second row like the second layer they will be balanced with um, what do you call this wigs we call this wigs in Dutch so you'll make like triangles wooden triangles here to balance every stone because every stone needs to lay down solid it shouldn't be able to wiggle otherwise you know during a storm it could move this is the cabin um, roof lights there might be a roof light here or maybe there maybe the size I don't know yet I think I'll just start building the roof and then once the roof is open I'll have a better perspective on where the roof light needs to be and how big it should be um, because these are things are are hard to design you know because there's trees around here I think once you are actually standing into the room and um, you can see through the roof it kind of tells you where the window should be I mean this tells you something too oops but um, yeah it's always better to see in real life um, and I think it's an, it, it's it always works to design while you are building I mean I have the opportunity to because I do everything myself This is also yeah, like leftover from other jobs. A block of this is cheaper than. Uh, yeah, a toy yeah, or elastic safe, for yeah, example. I okay. Okay. If you come here, this is a roba de scar. Don't tell me, it's a roba de scar. It's a roba de. But it's for the same price. It's just for the table. For the scar, it's just here. If you, you, uh, you have a range, a few of them. A block of this. Yes. Uh, you can uh, spend uh, less than the. Uh,
Ok, vai avanti, vai avanti. Vai avanti. Hai partito tutto anche le tavole. Piano. Vai, vai, vai ancora pure. I think this is it. Shouldn't pack it too heavy because uh, the road is still slippery. So I'm gonna try it with uh, first batch. Next time I try a bit more. But this is already quite heavy. Those beams are heavy. There are chestnut beams, 12 by 12, and then almost four meters long. So nice job in the evening. The guys from the sawmill, they say like, oh no, don't leave it here during the night, you know, because they're afraid it's going to be stolen. But I think it's going to be fine. Maybe yeah, my trust is too good in the people here. I think it will be fine. And uh, I will sleep here tonight, so I can basically guard the wood. So I made it, it's a slippery ride, I think it took about uh, 40 minutes the whole road and I have to do this about 7 times more. I usually can't use this road because it's the neighbor's road so it's a private road so 
I don't think it's fine. It's okay. Okay, got another batch ready in the small chimney. Uh, I shouldn't put too much in it because the last stint is very steep and yesterday was really spinning. Uh, I still have four chains on the wheels because um, there's just a few patches which are, which are icy. Um, I think 95% of the road is dry but it's just those few bits which are, which are steeper well, I need a change for. So. Yeah, so those those planks are are going to be used for the scaffolding as well as this leftover batch. Um, yeah, those planks are nice. They are leftovers. They're maple, five centimeter thick, and that's 14 square meter. And then together with this on the top and what's in here, that was only 400 euros. I mean, it's so cheap at the, the sawmill. It's a lot of wood. And all of that I can, after I've used it as scaffolding, I could use it for all kinds of stuff. So, I'm really happy with that. Doesn't include the rafters though. So, those are the rafters on the bottom with a ch chestnut. And these are very nice and very heavy too. Okay, here we go. Something went wrong. Ah. This is what happens, so these ones hit here. If I take a turn this way, and if it's very steep and the car goes up first, and then the trailer follows, so you get my hits, and then this hits broke it off. Just the plastic. I should build something here so build something here so this is actually a bit higher. But these ones are almost four yeah, four meters so they can top them over. It's just too much for this car, for this trailer.
But I mean, yeah. I guess it, it is. You do get you do get people like um, it seems. <laughs> this must be maybe one of the annoying parts of it. Okay, all of the wood is here. Took me seven drives up the hill. Low gearing uh, over two days. I mean, it was uh, went slow, but it's. Uh, I'm surprised I, I got it all up here. I was trying to get a tractor to do it, but um, all the farmers here are kind of afraid of the road because most of the tractors they don't have uh, change. Uh, so it's tricky when it's too steep and there's ice on the road. Um, yeah, it's difficult. So I thought, okay, I'll try to do it myself then. And uh, that kind of worked out a bit slow. The Jimny is amazing. That car is like really good because it's so small, you know. You need a small car on these roads. So, yeah, this worked out well. Um, yeah, so it's two days before Christmas. Tomorrow I drive back to the Netherlands to my family. And uh, so I'm closing off here. I'm gonna put the batteries inside and sort of insulate them. Hopefully they survive the winter. I'm thinking of taking them down, but if I come back here, maybe in February, I can't get up with the car. So it means like I don't have batteries for a while. Because I cannot get batteries up here without a car, because they're super heavy. So I leave them here. 
hopefully, hopefully they will be all right. All right, thanks for watching. It's probably New Year's Eve now when this is airing. Wish you a happy new year and uh, see you in the next one.